mapping digital decorations to physical surfaces is something that has grown in popularity over the past few years. Today we will take a look at how to use the projection mapper utility from Digital Press Works in order to create map files to be used in your software of choice. Start by downloading and installing the projection mapping utility from the Digital Press Works website. You will find a link in the description below where you can download the tool. Just navigate to the software tab, then download the version you need based on your operating system. Before using the utility, make sure that your display settings are correct. Your scale should be set at 100%. If you have your display zoomed in or out, set it back to normal. The display resolution should match the native resolution of your projector. If they don't match, your map file will be off and you won't discover it until you have finished your project and attempt to display it. Finally, your computer will need to be connected to your projector to use as a second screen. Once connected, ensure your multi-display setting is set to duplicate. When you have set up your physical display and placed your projector in its permanent position, you are ready to create a map. In this example, I'll be mapping just the outlines of several pumpkins that I have set up in order to map the Atmos FX Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree to them. Open the projection mapper utility on your computer and you should now see a fully white screen with a mouse pointer. This should also be reflected from your projector. Start drawing your map by clicking and dragging to create a line. The utility will only draw straight lines, so anything with a curve will have to be drawn with a lot of short lines. As you're drawing, remember to stay focused on the physical object, not what is happening on your computer screen. If you intend to map pumpkins like I am, you don't need to get that detailed with your map. You really just want to create a border that you will map your digital asset onto later on. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to use this to map a structure, such as a house, then you will need to be a lot more detailed and careful with your lines. As you are drawing, if you make a mistake, you can undo that with the Ctrl plus Z keyboard shortcut. Once your map is completed, it might look a little odd to you. As long as you set the display settings correctly, this is perfectly okay. Remember that the map is being created from the perspective of how your projector sees it, not how it appears to you. Save your map file by right-clicking anywhere on the screen, then choose Save As. Choose your file location and file name according to your preference. One final note before you pack everything away. You must validate that the resolution of the map file matches the projector resolution. Select your file, choose Properties, and select the Details tab. If the resolution matches the native resolution of your projector, then you are good to go. If it does not match, check your display settings first, then reopen the file and projection mapper and save it again. If it still doesn't match, try creating a new map after verifying your display settings. With your map file completed, you are now ready to tackle your projection mapping project. In an upcoming video, we will be reviewing how we can use this file to map a digital decoration to the pumpkins I've drawn here. Thank you for watching this short tutorial. If you want to receive more tips on digital decorating, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future content.